What's good, YouTube? And welcome to $100 plus Trident Dragons. This one has the internet on fire, and I agree, I can't imagine paying with any amount of inflation over the years since it's printing $100 for this OTK finisher. The Secret Rare out of Legendary 5Ds collection is the only reprint for this card, and that was a one-off. There's no unlimited of that, and a lot of cards out of there become very expensive and very hard to pull, by the way. And then you have Raging Freaking Battle. Uh, with this card, like, yeah, you're going to want it for Tempai. You're definitely going to want to have access. But uh, so many people are either saying they're biting the bullet on it or waiting and hoping for a reprint. And where are those reprint windows? We have Rarity Collection, but I don't think Konami's going to be on the ball there in terms of wasting a slot for this card. It would actually be nice to see for the player base. But you got to also think Konami loves seeing cards like this get this expensive so that they can cash in on it one time again. And... It's just painful to see. Also, Heatwave only has its three printings, two being Speed Duels, and then good old Star Strike Blast, and people want access to this card too, so be aware. That's a $20 card, Tenpai definitely tearing up the market going into the banless season, and people expecting to also choose it as their WCQ deck, but Fire is still very powerful. Summon Breaker looks to be replacing Summon Limit. I, this card's just not as good. I think you would have to pop it up with metaverse and metaverse isn't really going up all that much as we'll cover during the main phase one if the turn player successfully conducts their third summon of a monster or monsters this turn it becomes the end phase I, the difference between two and three summons is huge if you know this is going to be applied and the ability to take care of that out of an extra deck is really up there versus just two summons in my opinion and heck fire decks were actually dealing with summon limits so this one not as big of a fan till i see it actually make impactful gameplay i could see stun i suppose also trying something like this but three summons is usually what a stun deck doesn't want to let happen either so I don't know. I'm just not feeling this card personally, but let me know your thoughts and if you've seen it in testing action. Metaverse Secret Rares out of the Speed Duel set, and then the Super Rare are the highest rarities. They're not exactly like moving super fast or anything. In fact, it's a different field spell card that's going, especially with leaks that are around that you can find online because I don't want to get banned of a new card that's very like Pseudo Space with the release of Chicken Game. That's interesting timing, but yeah, there's one that's basically a better pseudo space coming out here soon and set rotation has gone wild this is also for many different decks you can look at tier limits people are bringing up runic yeah set rotation super rares have been climbing in price for some time and are around seven plus dollars quickly 10 on the front page but if you just want access to one of these cards very very cheap with many different versions like the no foil ultras out of maximum gold or having yourself a common so super is definitely the nicest version but yeah metaverse not moving tells me that maybe the hype isn't the realest on summon breaker and just putting this up and making them have to deal with it i don't feel like that's the best overall but we've seen pretty weird stun buyouts too Albion is way up. Now, this one is the true price discourse of the day. How dare a branded spoiler sell their deck? I can't stop laughing. Sorry. The fact that this has gone so crazy towards 50 plus dollars. In fact, some of the lowest are 55 to 60 here with one seller at 30 and one even at 12 but zero percent. I feel like this card has gotten absolutely ridiculous for what it is. Did you really think the ban list was going to hit your branded deck and you sold your branded deck? People who play branded, everyone I know who plays branded has not sold their branded deck, especially in preparation for a ban list. So this spike is just ridiculous to me, in my opinion, that people are scrambling for it. But the Elements best deck every ban list, am I right? We have Reinhardt going up, and the Ultimate Rare actually over time has about doubled in this uh recent month and it's up towards 20 now and the ultra rare is towards 10 here very recent and skyrocketing so people are looking at the deck 
they just can't give it up. We also have cash tier Fenrir ultimate rares going up. This feels like it happens about every ban list and it is a very good card, but be aware this has gone up towards 55, 60 quickly where the market price was around 42 to 44. Dimension Shifter is the card I have heard mentioned a ton with Thunder Dragon and for the format and the quarter century secret rare has gone up a lot. I personally love the prismatic ultimate rare. I think it looks so good on this card personally, but there are many different versions to choose from, especially nice versions, thanks to the rarity collection that are very cheap and great looking for $10 playsets or less. But yeah, if you're wanting to play the quarter century secret rare, that playset's getting up there towards 150 freaking dollars. And that's pretty expensive for a hand trap that isn't necessarily loved by many, but still a hand trap. Arch Nemesis Protos itself has skyrocketed towards $40. And there's a lot of different ways you can end up, you know, playing with it, but it's more select decks still. Also, you have Infernal Flame Banshee starting to get targeted, especially for the quarter century secret rare. If you recall on market watches, we've talked about a lot of people over speculating on this card in the past, but the potential for it to be good was so there. People have pointed out that this can go ahead and get your nemesis flag into corridor, enabling you to kind of do thunder combos around. And then you also have it just being such a good card on paper. The ultra rare is still readily available, but starting to go very down on quantities and up in price so be aware this is back towards four dollars which i think is its hypest price about during pre-sales but still an insane card and you should be looking into it in my opinion baby sarasaurus has gone up easiest call in my career but no seriously highest rarity dinosaurs have done very well for themselves in the confusion around oh i can't play with this wait you only mean in speed duels, I can play with this in main formats. It was obvious people were going to go for that once that confusion cleared up, and it's gone from 5 quickly towards a neat double up. Some of the lowest here are 10 and then 15 very quickly. Most of the sales are around that $7 mark though, so it'll be interesting to see where it goes. But yeah, be aware this is on full buyout mode. Also, those secret rare Sakuretsu armors that look very nice. Also, going up here towards 657 for the boomer formats. Speed Duel Secrets just feel oh so nice. I did see some people commenting about quality control with the set though, so you might want to be getting these pieces in person instead of online. Let me know if you've heard about quality control issues. I personally haven't seen too much of it, but I will get my hands on some of these cards to check that out. Then we have the Centurions going up. You know we have the new set coming and it's got Centurion support too. This deck has been famously overhyped but still pretty good for what it is and just be aware the collector rares like stand up centurion are absolutely ridiculous in price right now and way up and then the ultra rares look at this true i, I didn't look down here uh trudea is way up versus what it was one at 30 before it's a 43 dollar card and many sales around that 43 45 i i did not know this was at this price for a ultra rare that's kind of crazy Finally, I wanted to cover Light of Destruction actually getting a reprint. It's so hard to say, like, Legacy of Destruction, Light of Destruction, LOD in my head, right? But Light of Destruction is getting an unlimited wave for its product and has people freaking out. First off on the channel, I've always said you should be going First Ed with older. I think First Ed is king. I think going in unlimited, Konami can reprint it whenever they want. In fact, they've already done this with the set before in the Twilight Special Editions or Chaos Theme themed ones, if you might call, where they had, I believe it was uh, Phantom Darkness alongside this, and then was it IOC or something like that? Uh, basically, they've had different special editions they already had its own special edition as they naturally did but then other ones kind of like the samurai one where they had strike a neos actually reprinted in there konami can do whatever it wants anytime with unlimited sets and they're flexing that now the question is will the cards look different as the 25th anniversary cards did i would think so if they're doing it to lob and mrd at this point which would distinguish them even further apart and substitutes a card people want to reprint for i'd rather see reprints than a whole set reprinted and it be incidentally down for quantities being up just a little bit but 
Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not really feeling the reprint of this set, but, like, I don't understand people also freaking out about it until we see the proof in the pudding. Again, I would never invest in old Unlimited, though, personally, so I don't have as big of an issue. Let me know if you're a collector down below. Are you excited for this? Do you hate the move? you think it takes away from older sets and creates problems with Konami going back in any time? I'm personally a fan of them doing stuff like this, but I could care less about this one personally. Thanks for watching today's Market Watch. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy the conversations and the takes, because I'm always going to come from the heart and say where I do feel about things. I'm not going to argue something for the sake of argument.